You ever feel like you're stuck in a game, like you just can't get through that gate? Or maybe you're just feeling lost out on the pickleball court. In this video, I'm going to show you how to get unstuck and how to not feel lost out on the pickleball court. Let's go to the studio and I'm going to show you how. Now that we're back in the studio, allow me to explain to you why you feel stuck, why you may feel like you're lost at sea, why you feel without direction out there. And then I'll give you some tips as to what you can do to try and alleviate that situation to get yourself unstuck and to find your way. So let's start with why you're stuck and why you may feel a little bit lost. It's because of this. So this is you, this, this graph I drew for you here is a representation of you as a pickleball player. And there's just so much going on out here, right? You have all of this different advice. You need this one shot, move like this. Top 10 tips, five tips, seven tips, whatever the latest video or your friends are telling you at the court. It, it just, it, it makes you feel, it makes you feel kind of lost out there. Like, I don't know what to do. There's all this different advice. And one way to think about it is, is think about it like you're, you're building a puzzle. Okay? So you, you're putting together a puzzle and I take a bunch of the thousand pieces or 10,000 pieces. Pickleball has a lot of moving parts. I take all these pieces and I scatter them about, right? And that maybe I don't even let you see the top of the pieces. You have to work off the bottom of the pieces and I don't give you a, a, a cover. So there's no p puzzle box cover for you. Imagine trying to build that puzzle, how frustrating that would feel, how you would feel like, what am I supposed to do with all these pieces? That's a lot of players pickleball experience. We start playing, we start seeing a little bit of the game because it's easy to pick up. And that's one of the beauties of the, of the sport. It's easy to get out there and start playing. But then we start realizing, wait a minute, huh? there's a lot more to this game than, than I thought there was. And that's why we feel stuck. That's what gets us stuck. And that's why we feel lost sometimes. I'm going to come over to this board now. I tried, drew up, up some puzzle pieces here because pickleball is a very, um, in, a very involved game. It has a lot of moving parts. And that's one of the beauties of our sport. Not only is it easy to pick up, it's a lifetime of learning. You could study the sport for the rest of your life and never get to every single piece that you need, that you could possibly uncover in this sport. So you can always grow in this sport. You can always grow in pickleball. The frustration though, the feeling of being stuck is there's, there's a, there's a something going on out here. I just don't see it. I just don't see how these pieces go together, how these, all these pieces lock together. The way you deal with that is, I need to erase the board here, but the, the way to deal with that is it's, it, you have to understand the, the framework of this game. You need to understand, or you want to understand if you want to get unstuck, how the game is put together. This game, it's, it's no different than, than any other game or any other thing in, in life. It has a framework. It has a, a puzzle box cover to it. So you can think of the framework of pickleball as the that puzzle box cover right it gives you the image of the game it, it tells you how this is all put together why these players are standing like this why certain shots are hit why certain strategies are preferred the framework of the game is what gets you that it gives you the big picture from the framework you flow down to objectives so the framework gives you objectives now one area of the game that players often misunderstand or don't fully understand is the difference between the return side here, these are players, and the serve side here, the serve player. It's a very different game from this side and from this side. And in fact, your objectives for each side are different. Objectives which flow from your framework. So as you start seeing the framework, you start understanding, oh, that's why my objective on the serve side is this and on the return side is that. Then from the objectives come your strategies. So these, think of these as like the, the actual, like the little puzzle pieces, right? They start, now you start seeing, oh, wait a minute. That's why we're doing this strategy in this situation, because it, it aligns with our objectives, which flow from our framework. And then the very last step on here are the shots. So these are like the tools. These are the things that we need, the hammer and the screwdriver and things like that, that we need in order to accomplish our, uh, to carry out our strategy, which is meant to accomplish our objectives which all flows from the framework. And the better you're able to understand the framework of the game, that's the, the puzzle box cover, the better you're able to see the entire picture of this game that you're playing when you're out there, of this game that you're out there you know, on the court doing, you're able to see what's happening when you're out there playing and get yourself unstuck because you're able to see, wait a minute, this thing that I was doing is a dead end or this shot I was working on is a dead end because it doesn't flow 
properly in this framework that I have for pickleball. So the question now is, okay, what do I do to gain framework? Because this is the key. The key, if you want to feel unstuck, if you want to feel like you know what's going on out there, is you need you need your 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 picture, you know, you need that that picture of the game, right? The 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 cover of the of the puzzle box so that you can then put the pieces together in in an order that makes sense. You can put the game in a, in a way that makes sense for how to play it. So how do you get framework? Now, getting framework can be, you can be gotten. There's different ways of going about it. Some take longer, some take shorter. Now, I'll, I'll, I'm going to, spoiler alert, the shorter one has to do with the pickleball system, which is a program that CJ and I designed. It's a fantastic system that has framework in it and is built around framework. But there's, there's, there's another way you can gain framework. And the other way you can gain framework is through the study of the game. Now, what that involves is you spending time studying the game of pickleball. That means watching game study, watching game, games, and breaking them down so that you can see what's going on out there and start piece, piecing together the parts of the game. Take out a piece of paper and start writing out what it is that makes sense in pickleball. Knows how is pickleball built? What are the rules that govern this game that we play? And how do they interplay with how we execute shots and different strategies that we use while we're playing? You can definitely do those things. That's how CJ and I got to where we are in the game of pickleball. We studied hours and hours and hours and hours and hours to devise the framework of pickleball to, to come up with the puzzle box. Another option is join us on Thursday. We have a workshop. It'll give you a sneak peek into some of this by understanding the ultimate game plan. This is a part of the game. It's a super important part of the game, but you'll understand a quadrant of the game in terms of how do, how does this game fit together and how can I use this game plan to improve myself? It's on July 20th. It's a free workshop. You can join it. Uh, it's a 90 minute intensive workshop on this ultimate game plan. At the end of the workshop, we'll explain to you more about the pickleball system, which is a year-long class that you can take to, to get the framework of pickleball. And if you're interested in joining and taking the next step, then you will join the pickleball system class. That's how you get the framework of pickleball explained to you by CJ and by me. We've removed all obstacles from joining the pickleball system class. So if you want to join one of our classes, if you're ready to do this for yourself, you can be a part of our next class. No matter what you decide, whether you decide to join the pickleball system or decide to do it on, a, on another route or another path, keep your eye on the framework of the game. That is how you will become unstuck. That is how you will see clearly the path you need to follow in order to fully enjoy this awesome, awesome sport and to continue to grow as a pickleball player. Because remember this, no matter what, you can grow as a pickleball player, you can become a better pickleball player, a more knowledgeable pickleball player, and enjoy the game more. I'll see you in the next video.